Hi Cancer, welcome to my channel. Thank you for being here and for tuning in. <clears throat> We're just gonna jump right in here, Cancer, and see what's going on with who you are dealing with, what are their true thoughts and feelings and intentions towards you, okay? This is for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and the North Node. So of course, it's not gonna resonate with all of you. Um, but for more readings after this, please go ahead and check out my husband's tarot channel at Sidekick Tarot. And I do have a bonus channel for you at All Signs Tarot. I offer same day personal readings for $33 and next day readings for $17. And I have a vlog channel if you'd like to check it out at Val Smib. Everything you need to know is in the description box below, Cancer. Thank you. Okay. Well, some of you are definitely, you could have kids with this person. You are definitely in a marriage relationship or a commitment with this person, okay? It could be family members for some of you here. Um, and you may or may not have kids. Okay, so right away, unfortunately, there's a few things. Because it's either like they are married to you in a relationship, well, married for sure, and they know they need to divorce you, but they haven't yet and they're stalling that, okay? For others of you, it's just like, there's some toxic messed up karmic illegal things going on either or of those things i just listed unbalanced and they're still choosing to be this way towards you but they want to be here with you committed in some way shape or form but they don't really want to move forward that makes them not want to move forward and like go on a healing journey and change and grow they have an idea instead to work with you they want progression or they have progression they feel like things are speeding up and progressing with you or maybe you guys are traveling and relocating that's what causes them to actually feel some excitement and feel happy with you and you know take accountability responsibility have a position of money wealth career path status with you and do well and then they're waiting on you for some stuff and while they're waiting on you it's kind of like then they feel irritated and impatient yet again and they don't want to like move or do things or tr do things them themselves or they don't want to relay negative news or bad news to you or they want to block something that makes them um, get in this energy where they are completely lost. They leave this reading so confused, um, not having any options, not not knowing what, what the hell to do really here. Now, at the same time, it could be this energy where they um, maybe are just being, they're being a little bit too up in their head, a little delusional, you know, unrealistic with what to do with you and them. So I don't know. I'll clarify here and see what's going on. What is this doing? Okay, so unfortunately, I do get heavy father figure, mother figure vibes, but right away here, so they could be cheating on you and they're just cool with that and they're going to stay that way. For others of you, they just really don't like you or love you or care for you, unfortunately, but they something about their position, their job, their wealth status, it's like they still have that and then that's what's making them want to be unbalanced toxic karmic you know maybe there's a maybe you guys have a messed up contract messed up for you not so much for them there's this contract is that's tied in or they don't want to get a divorce when they know they need to you know either or here okay but you know what i mean they feel fulfilled that they have this marriage or commitment with you of some sort here they feel like they're getting everything they want so looks like what they've thought about really quickly and have communicated to you okay and they've said something to you in a way where they're not truly moving forward or letting go of all the toxic baggage and moving on and changing their ways so 
so they're unfaithful to you. They're not loyal. They don't trust you. They have no hope and faith in any of this or believe in you or any of this that's going on with the two of you. And that's what caused them to kind of get in this energy where they have an idea to do something here with you. And they're happy with you. So them... Yeah, you guys progressing and moving up and moving forward. I don't know, like something is go going quickly or growing and doing well. That's what makes them happy here with you. The passion that they have for you and the excitement is that they're not going to change one thing about themselves or reflect on any of this. And it looks like here that... What makes them feel powerful in their own, you know, once again, career path, status, wealth, journey, or like, like one, it could be because you guys have kids together. For others of you, it's just maybe because they do like you and have a crush on you and want to approach you in some way, shape, or form. But it could be something where like you're not available or they're not available. I don't know. Okay. And what they're waiting on is the true is f interesting. <laughs> they're funny. They're, they're waiting for you to hear the truth from someone else. At the same time, what they're waiting on is to be honest and tell you the truth. It is a very healthy, beautiful energy. They're waiting to tell you the truth and be honest with you and commit to you, be loving with you, be in a, maybe get married to you. Um, they trust their own intuition about the situation. Okay. Huh, so, ah, life is starting to mess with them and make some changes because they're not relaying, they're not being honest with you. It's like there's something here that they're doing in a way where it's like, they're not telling you something that they should. And I don't know what that is. Jeez, that's a lot. Okay. So the reason why they're confused and a little bit delusional or whatever it is, is because they want to relay a message to you and talk to you. They feel inspired. Maybe this is someone from the past. They feel nostalgic and happy with you to create. Huh? They're trying to, ah, they're trying to force an opportunity out of you, but you wouldn't benefit from it the way they would. And that's what they're hanging on to and banking on. But that's exactly what makes them confused. So they're trying to plot and scheme and scam and figure out something about you, Cancer. Hmm. You could be dealing with a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, or, or um, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. All right. Thank you. Bye.